Hello family, welcome back to yet another edition of the Apollo TV City Solutions. It's always a pleasure having you here onto the channel. To the new viewers, you are most welcome onto the channel and you are humbly requested to hit that subscription button and help us grow together with you. Hit the notification bell as well so that you get notified of any new content that we always upload and we share like the videos that we make for you. And in this video, we're going to be looking into upgrading storage capacity for this Dell Latitude 3390 uh, all-in-one, two-in-one laptop. We're going to be focusing on replacing storage capacity. We're going to be focusing on choosing the best storage capacity or rather storage unit for this laptop and also telling the difference between the SSD and the HDD, which is the storage uh, solid state drive versus the hard disk drive. So we're gonna be, so we are going to be upgrading this laptop's storage capacity, increasing and rather boosting the size space, uh, the hard drive space for the storage. So without further ado, let's start right away by unscrewing this laptop and uh, remember best practices to always shut down the laptop before you proceed with any operations on it. In this case, we're going to be using this Phillips screwdriver and uh, this presser tool will help us open it up. So if we are to count this, the number of screws that we need to unscrew, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. So let's start right away by unscrewing the uh, laptop. So let's go by, that's the first, second one, second screw. There is a third screw here, but uh, it was removed earlier on. So I go to the fifth one. Go to the sixth one and also go to the this one was also removed then go to this last one which is number nine screw number nine so once we are done removing the screws we then go to the extreme edge of the laptop and using our pressure tool we remove the cover from the edges Just gently and slightly as we move it going round to remove the cover. You have to do this gently because remember the, it has locks inside that can break easily if you use harsh or rather tough. So let's just remove it gently. And if you use tough method, methods of removing it, it can easily affect the locks so this is the cover on removing it we then go to the interior now this is the interior of the laptop remember last time in the in the previous video i'll be i'll be leaving you a link to the video showing the review and uh, upgrade options for these laptop parts in the description below so today we are going to focus on only the hard drive or rather the ssd or rather the storage unit for this laptop so uh if you are to look here Closely. This is our hard drive, so we have to get uh, get it out. So let's proceed by removing the storage unit, which is here. And uh, if you were to count, it has uh, one, two screws that we need to get rid of so that we remove the hard drive, the storage unit. So let me just start by unscrewing this screw number one, and then also unscrew this screw number two. Once I'm done unscrewing, I need to first disconnect. I need to disconnect the hard drive of the motherboard. So this is its connector, and uh, it's connected right uh, in this direction. So I need to just get off the connector, and here is what I have. So if, if, if this is the storage unit that we are to replace, but remember. It, it it's uh it has to it it, it has uh, different versions it, there is this uh, casing but uh the real s solid drive that we need is inside this casing so let's first open up the casing and see how 
the storage unit looks like. So on removing the casing, we need to first get rid of these four screws, which is screw number one, screw number two. We're trying to get uh, the storage unit off the casing and we see what is exactly inside. So I go to screw number three from this other side. Oops, you have to be gentle so that you don't lose any of the screws. So once we are done removing all the four screws, we need to uh, gently remove the casing of the, we need to remove the casing. So this is our casing cover and this is the casing holder. So now we have uh, our, solid uh, our solid state drive, which is the SSD drive inside here. So implying that this, comp uh, this laptop uses both the HDD, uh, which is the hard drive disk, uh, the hard disk drive, and also the SSD, which is the solid state drive. So in this case, if you want to use the HHD, uh, the HDD, for example, I have this one here. I can just easily put, uh, for example, I have this, I can just put it into the casing and then cover and then connect it and then cover it with this casing. I just get this, cover it with this casing and then put it on to this. But in this case, then put it into the laptop and then connect. So I can use a hard drive. It can it can contain both. It can use either HDD, which is the hard disk drive, or the SSD, which is the solid state drive. All I need is to just change the casing and use the solid state. So as long as you have this casing, you can always use the SSD. But remember, in this case, I'm using I'm going to replace this using uh, the SSD since it has uh, more advantages than the other, as I'm going to explain in the near future, right away. So I'm going to be replacing this uh, SSD drive with uh, a newer version and of a higher capacity, with a newer version and with a higher capacity storage. So I'm replacing it with this Hike Vision, which is a E100 uh, SSD, and it's uh, quite bigger compared to this because this is 120 GB and this one is 500 GB of a drive. So it's a, a SATA type uh, holding up to 6 GPS, uh, 6 GB per second, which is the speed that can at least run a little better. So I'm going to be replacing it with uh, this version. And uh, let's proceed with unwrapping it because it came a new. Uh, so I'm cutting it off and uh, let's see what we have in here. So it's, it's, it's this type that we are going to be replacing and putting into the drive. This is how it appears. This is how it looks like. You realize that this one came with its own casing and uh, this is the old one. Of course it's having the SSD which is inside. So let's uh, first remove it and uh, see how we can uh, compare the two maybe. So if I remove this, it has one cast screw which is just here that we need to first remove to have, a, uh, to have it out. And this is, this is how it looks. This is its size. So you realize that it has a connector. So in case you want to, in case you get this type of version, or rather this version that you would like to replace, you just replace this exactly. And uh, you, you have to be having this reader, which can be connected directly onto the motherboard of the laptop. So in this case, we are going to use this because it came already with its casing and we don't need to change the casing. But in case you get one which has no casing already, you just get this hard drive, or sorry, as SSD and fix it into the reader of course on the reader casing and then screw it back 
and connect it to the laptop directly after covering with this casing as I demonstrated earlier. So let's proceed and have our new one replaced into the laptop and then we see how we can install Windows maybe because remember it has no operating system and we have to it's brand new it has no operating system so we have to install everything afresh let's proceed so let's proceed by putting back our SSD drive SS drive which is the solid state drive into the casing and uh, ensuring that we have all the four screws ensuring that we have all the four screws that are supposed to attach the casing onto the uh, drive itself so let's uh, put back the screws screw number one get the second one also put it back here get the fourth one put it sorry the third one put it this side as well to ensure that it is uh, fixed in firmly then we get the fourth one as well to ensure that it is fixed in firmly just like that so once we are done just ensure that it's fixed firmly and uh, once we are done we can just easily pull it back remember uh, don't forget our screws so we need to first connect connect the connector back uh, the one that connects uh, off the hard drive to the motherboard then uh, put it back here as it is So we get our screws that we put, uh, we attach back the uh, SSD and uh, remember we removed one from here and one from here. In case you forget where you removed, they are always having arrows and the casing itself always has arrows pointing where you are supposed to put the screws. So in this case you don't have to put on this one because it does no arrow and uh, its screw is always embedded onto the casing of the laptop itself so once we are done we can uh, just confirm that they are firm and confirm that our uh, storage unit is intact now remember first things first you're supposed to disconnect off the uh, battery uh, of the motherboard then after that you pull it back and uh, you are always good to go you're always supposed to do that before you do any operation on the inner interior of the laptop so in this case we need to uh, put back our cover which is this put it back gently the way it was just gently 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 ensuring that all corners are fixed firmly so once we are done we then get our screws and uh, put them back so this is the one that attaches the hard drive so we need to put it back first and also put these other screws back into the uh, positions so get the second one third one so put also this side I'll put this side as well I'll put so this side so I'm just by one to three screws which I will uh, improvise later on so once we are done fixing back the screws we can always check and see open it up and see how the laptop behaves 
So let me power it on. On powering it on. It will go direct into the diagnostic page. And uh, what, it, what follows next is to install operating system and also check the status of the uh, of the drive that we've fixed. So it's running a, a, diagnostic, a diagnostic test, testing the memory in progress and also testing all the other hardware that are into the laptop. So in this case what is left is uh, installing the operating system onto the uh, onto the laptop and uh, you can always uh, either install it from off uh, from the uh, flash drive that I have here for example and I'm going to install it in the using this uh, drive so let me proceed so on inserting uh, my Windows uh, uh, drive flash drive I can always install the operating system and this is what it brings this is what it gives me this is what it displays so all I have to do is uh, choose the uh, the language to install and also the time and format currency then the keyboard input there is always US and these other uh, choices to choose from and uh, I'm showing you how to install uh, Windows so in this case I'm installing operating system which is a Windows operating system and uh, I'll just click on next and uh, I will install the Windows and once it's done our hard drive our storage capacity will have been upgraded from 120 GB to 500 GB of storage capacity but you can always uh, make it even higher and go up to even 1 TB 1 terabyte and even more higher this laptop has up to 2 TB that's it for this video thank you for watching we appreciate you kindly hit the like button in case you learned something and in case you enjoyed share and like comment tell me let me know what we should improve on subscribe if you are new to this channel cheers peace and love one unity